TNHD Production Live here with Oscar nominated Mark Coulier, who is nominated for makeup and hair design. How did you get into this industry? Um, I started, I went to art school, did a foundation course in art, and um, in, when I was about 19 or 20, I found a book on prosthetic makeup in um, Cambridge Market. And I bought that book, and I'd always been interested in sculpture, and um, uh, I'd always wanted to work in the film industry. But once I found that book, it really detailed how to actually do the job that I do. Um, so I just started pouring through it and making things according to the instructions. Yeah, managed to get a job. What was the first prosthetics thing you made? Uh, the first prosthetic thing I made professionally or on my own? On your own? On my own, I sculpted a makeup. I'd, I got some friends of mine to do a life cast of my face, mm -hmm. so, which was crazy because I was writing out instructions while they were p wiping this paste on my face and blocking my nostrils up. And, <laughs> um, but once I, got, once I got a cast of my own face, I then sculpted things that I could fit and glue onto myself. So then I did all sorts of stuff, creatures and zombies and noses and old age makeups and you know I just kept sculpting stuff on, on my own face you know because then I could stick them on myself without bothering anyone else. Did you enjoy working on The Iron Lady? Yeah The Iron Lady was amazing really great um, it's a really nice um, collaborative bunch of people you know really friendly and Meryl was amazing and uh, her personal makeup artist Roy we worked very closely with and we, they're, they're all really great um, so it was it was quite tough. It was a lot of work, and um, you know, in a short space of time, it wasn't a huge budget movie. It was uh, so yeah, but it, but it was a really nice um, creative atmosphere. And Philip is lovely. Philip, the director, um, she did an amazing job, and um, really great to work with. Meryl had a gap in her teeth. What, how did you do that? Maggie, had, yeah. Well, we she had a whole full set of veneers of oh. uh, just her top teeth. We did do the bottoms, but we didn't use them in the end. Uh, but it was just to push her lip out and then give her the... We have a dentist, uh, Chris Lyons, uh, who's a dental uh, guy and uh, runs a company called Fangs Effects in the UK, and he makes all the teeth that I ever use, really. He's very good. I mean, he just looks at Thatcher's teeth and copies them, and we try them in, and, and the, they were really great. You've worked on Harry Potter, Merlin, many things. What's your favorite type of prosthetic makeup Art? Do you like goblins? And what, what is it in particular? Well, we just done. Uh, well, there's the two things. One is to do something. Uh, it's really difficult to age somebody and do it realistically and have it so that people don't look at it and go, "Oh, look, they're obviously wearing makeup." So that's that's what we were trying to do with the Iron Lady. Try and make it so that people weren't distracted by it, you know. Um, and that was really great, but it's quite high pressure and it's quite difficult. Um, and then I've just done World War Z, which is uh, creating a lot of zombies for um, uh, the Brad Pitt movie. And that's much more fun in a way. Not quite as rewarding, but it's more fun gluing them on and creating different characters. And we had a whole bunch of appliances that we swapped around. And so we just created new faces out of old and put wounds all over the place. And, um, and just the color schemes of painting rotten zombie flesh is you know it's interesting so I'll, I get it I get a, it's a mix really I get I get pleasure out of all of it so the variety for me is the best you know I've had quite some nice jobs recently you know doing Voldemort for Harry Potter and then going doing World War Z and then aging up Meryl for the Iron Lady um, I'm now doing some aging makeups for a Merlin TV series and I'm doing um, Ron Howard's movie Rush which is we're doing burn makeups on Nicky Lauda Formula One race, uh, racing car driver who got burnt in the uh, 70s, mid 70s. So, and, and you know, equally that's interesting. You're recreating uh, an actual wound or uh, damage on someone, and uh, you know that's a that's a totally different challenge as well. What advice would you give to upcoming makeup artists? Um, just work hard, really. I think um, anyone who comes in and they're keen and enthusiastic and have some talent, uh, um, then they can they, they can get on. You know, there's not that many people. I get asked by lots of people coming out of art school and makeup school, and uh, they want to get straight into the sculpture and the painting and everything else. But the people who have companies like myself don't give the sculpting and painting to somebody straight away until until they prove themselves. So they should just get in and work from the ground up. 
Well, thank you so much, Mark, and best of luck at the Oscars tomorrow. Thank you. Thank Fingers you. crossed. Yes. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I'm Katie Ellman reporting for TTN HD Production Live.